What it really starts with is the children in the community and making sure that their health needs are met and they are set up for success. If you meet their health needs before they even enter the school system, hopefully the behaviors and the healthy habits that they're learning are going to carry forward so that they can repeat those with their children. We have three days worth of screenings for kids getting them ready for school. We all know that when a child starts school, they have to be ready. They have to be able to see, they have to be able to hear, they have to have their medical needs met, their developmental needs met. So if we can intervene before the child starts preschool or kindergarten, their chances of being successful in that school environment are going to be far improved. So that's what our goal is, provide the screenings out here create the referrals that are needed for those children that have deficits, and then provide the resources to make sure that those uh, referrals are met. We accept anybody who presents out here, insured or uninsured. So when Tommy Thompson started this program about 45 years ago, he was a sole community member, he identified a need, he saw that kids were struggling when they were coming into school, that they weren't prepared, that there were um, gaps, and that their education needs weren't being met because of all these health care needs that weren't being met. So um, when he started this up 45 years ago, I don't think he ever believed how many kids would actually be served and that it would still be going this far in. I'm hoping that we get a 50th year anniversary because I think the value to the community and our community kids is not matched anywhere else. It really is a collaboration of multiple different disciplines within this community and multiple different volunteers that are willing to come out here for those two and a half days and, and spend their entire day out here uh, being of service to our kids in our community. So uh, from that perspective, I just I can't think enough the number of uh, partners that we have that help contribute to making this event successful. I want to make sure that we take the opportunity to thank our partners, OHSU, Northwest Regional ESD, Tillamook County Schools, our Head Start program, and the OSU Extension Office. In addition, we have some wonderful financial contributors, ARC of Tillamook County, the Gary Anderson Fund, and our Tillamook High School Charity Drive. We'd also like to thank some in-kind contributors, such as Warner Gourmet Meats, our KTIL and KMBD radio station, uh, City Sanitary, and Chester's Market. We also want to make sure we recognize our many outstanding volunteers that without their help, we couldn't do the event.